As a homeowner, we look at the aesthetic value of our lawn and we look for things like color and density. However, because of certain environmental conditions, it may be too hot, too dry, uh, possibility of too much shade, we may lose some of our turf grass. So often the question comes up, what can we do to reestablish our lawn turf? So we gathered our home and garden staff and a few of our University of Maryland turf grass specialists to go over some of the ways to do uh, various types of establishment practices for lawn turf. Fall seeding is the best time to establish cool season turf grasses. Uh, one of the reasons for that is that we have much warmer soil temperatures and with warmer soil temperatures we'll get much quicker seed germination. Another positive thing about doing fall seeding is that there's less annual grass weed competition such as crabgrass, goosegrass that may come in and compete with the uh, seedling turf grass. For lawn establishment we have a couple different types of techniques or tools or pieces of equipment that we can use to do establishment. For really small areas, maybe a few hundred square feet, the use of a cast iron rake to just rough up the soil would be more than adequate to provide for good seed soil contact. For larger areas you may want to look at the possibility of using something like a rototiller this could also allow you to incorporate organic matter or various types of uh, compost materials that would provide a good soil medium for plant growth. The vertical mower, some people call it a verticutter, dethatcher is another piece of equipment that can prepare a seed bed for uh, overseeding purposes. It uh, is a relatively lightweight unit. It can be easily uh, transported in a vehicle. Uh, many of our uh, Distributors such as hardware stores uh, do uh, rent these particular units. The verticutter will produce these nice screws in the ground that will allow seed to drop in and germinate. You can run it in one direction or you can do it in two directions. The photos here are showing the seedlings beginning to germinate within these screws. One of the disadvantages of working with a vertical mower or verticutter is that if you have a turf grass that has a lot of thatch, you can bring up a lot of that debris and it's going to be another process of removing it before you do the seeding operation. The air fryer is another option to prepare a seed bed for overseeding purposes. It will punch small holes. Sometimes these can be, depending on how moist the soil is, it may be a couple of inches deep. But wherever we have some type of a um, airification hole, seed can drop in and begin the germination process as uh, these photos are illustrating from some tall fescue uh, doing this particular demonstration that we did at the turf research farm. The turf grasses that we have in Maryland that we use for lawn turf are things like our turf type tall fescue. We may find the blue grasses, but oftentimes they're mixed with our Tall fescues, and then for our shade environment type situations where we have heavy shade, our fine fescues are typically used, such as some of our red fescues and particularly some of our hard fescues. The uh, tall fescues have done well because of their really deep root system. And once again, if you're purchasing any seed, you want to look at the label, make sure that you're getting a high quality seed. Uh, things like percent germination and percent purity are things that you want to take note of on a seed label. Once the seed bed has been prepared, we can begin the seeding process. We can either use a drop spreader or a rotary spreader to get the seed down. Ideally, we need to go in two directions to make sure that we can get the seed uniformly placed within the seed bed. Once the seeding has been done, a light raking will also ensure better seed placement. Following this, a application of a starter fertilizer will promote vigorous turf grass growth and also termination. Light, frequent irrigation will ensure optimum seed germination. During our study, we had well over four inches of rain that occurred within a four week time period after seeding. This photograph shows our plot area four weeks after seeding. Keep in mind the seeding was done on September 22nd and as you can see 
the uh, different treatments where we did airification and vertical mowing and then seeded with our tall fescue actually came out quite well regardless of the treatment. And a lot of that I think has to do with the fact that we had adequate amount of soil moisture uh, after our seeding study.